So remember how I talked about work is the parallel force times the displacement because it's only the parallel part of the force that's responsible for changing the speed which ultimately changes your kinetic energy. If you don't change the speed, you're not going to change the energy of the system, you're not doing work. If you're perpendicular to displacement, you're changing the direction and not the speed itself. And this question really highlights that fact. So let's just go over that and see how we deal with when forces are at an angle. So what's happening? Here we have a shopping cart rolling around and they tell us that it's on flat ground. Um, it's got, of course, mg going down, fn going up, and it's again some amount of friction. They give us the actual force so we don't have to do the mu fn. And we also have this thing, which is an applied force from the person 25 degrees below the horizontal. You can see where the angles are stacking up already. The displacement, of course, is right here along the x direction on flat ground. Let's do them one at a time. Work done on the carts by friction. Here we're talking about the friction force, the parallel part of friction force. Friction force goes that away. Displacement goes that away. They are parallel, but to be more specific, they're what we call anti-parallel. They go, they point in opposite directions. So therefore we have to go negative 35 newtons times 20 meters, giving us a negative 700 joules for that one. What is the work done by the gravitational force? Well, let's see. We want the parallel component of the gravitational force. Well, Fg goes that way, Fd goes that way. There is no component because they are perpendicular to each other. So therefore we get a big fat zero. You can already see that the angle really matters because if it's you're not going with the displacement, the force doesn't do any work. Okay, part C by the shopper now. Again, we want the parallel component of the applied force. So given that we have FA like that, but D is like that, we have to decompose this along that direction and that's the actual one that we want with the 25. So this is FA cosine 25 degrees. They would be in the same direction afterwards. And this is again your 20 meters. Now, of course, we don't know what FA is. So we have to come back here to the free body diagram and figure that out. We look at the x direction. They tell us that we're at constant velocity. So therefore, that's equal to zero. So we have the horizontal component f a cosine theta minus ff is equal to zero. And that's all we have. They give us ff already, so we can solve for fa quite directly. So that's ff divided by cosine theta. ff was my 35 newtons divided by cosine of 25 degrees. We should get we should get 38.6 degrees. So we can sub that in here, 38.6 cosine 25 times 20 meters. Again, we want the parallel component of the force and that's where the cosine pops out from, depending on the angle you're dealing with. And that also works out to positive 700 joules. In part D, they want the force, so there it is. In part E, what is the total work done on the cart? To find the total work done, you want to find out the work of all your many forces. We have the normal force, we have the gravitational force, we have the friction force, we have the applied force. Some of these we've worked out already. This is from part B, we got that. From part A, we got negative 700 joules and we got positive 700 joules. And then for my normal force, just like the gravitational force, there is no parallel component, so it's another zero. My 700 plus 700, we get a total of zero joules, which is not surprising because knowing how work 
changes energy and in this case v1 and v2 must be the same because we have constant v so ke1 must equal ke2 being one half mv square so therefore the total work must be zero so that was never really in question anyways so hopefully from this it becomes a little more clear how to deal with forces acting on an angle with your displacement you will have to decompose it into the parallel component before you can work out the specific work